Good night, everybody. Tonight, I want to unravel some of the lies that Harvey Norton come out and saying yesterday, the 3rd of June, in a live broadcast. He was being interviewed by an ex man. I don't know his name. I wasn't trying to remember his name either. Because he is important. Right? The first thing the guy would have asked him in an interview is if he was surprised to wake up yesterday morning and see an article published in the Starbuck News newspaper saying that the PPP was leading by 18,000. <laughs> Big man, how do you expect Arby not to be surprised by that? And I don't know what kind of question is that. Right? Because it seems like the only person who would have been surprised was you. Because Arby Norton know that they lose the election since the March 2nd, 2020 election. They know they lose. So he will already expect PPP to lead all the time. Right? So when you ask if he was surprised, there's a dumb, stupid question. So. Okay? So in reply to that, Arby Norton said, Yes, no. He said, for one to understand, oh no, a lie. He said he wanted his supporters them not to worry or panic about the number with a C. Right? So he gave an explanation as to why they should not be worried. He said, for one to understand what is go happening here, they have to go to the order. So he's saying that the order said something. That's it. The numbers them. In in a make sense at the end of the recount. Right? So when he said to when he tells people not to worry or panic about it because the artist did something different to numbers. I thought this was a recount to declare the winner at the end of it based on who win the election. And that had to be a number thing. You understand? Not nothing else. Because counting a ballot is not nothing else but coming up with a number. And who had the most vote at the end of the recount is who going to win the election. And that is what I thought it was. Right? But now we're hearing Harry Norton saying something different. I don't expect he to come to say nothing different than that anyway. Because he is a dirty stinking liar. Right? And he would do anything or say anything to mislead the people in. To get people to believe that they, they did win the election and PPP thief make the for win, for PPP claim victory. So the 18,000, what PPP really leading by is what a thief, and not what people actually vote for them. Right, so we can move on to hear what the other said just now. Then he went on to say that the PPP is treating, is treating the recount like if it was a mere recount of numbers. Right, and from the inception, it was established that this was not a mere recount of numbers. Aubrey, what established? What was established? Based on my knowledge of what they established and gazetted on the ARA, is that they can go to a recount of the 10 region to declare a winner of the election based on the corruption that happened with Mingo fraudulent spreadsheet. Right? I didn't see nothing else. Nobody said nothing else in the order as to something else other than done for happen. Good? So when you're coming out and say that our PPP treating this as a number game, it is a number game. It can continue to be a number game. And it will finish as a number game. And who get the highest number is who win the game. 
library. So don't come out there and believe you can try to mislead people and the people believe that there is something else other than the number game. Right? You cannot invoke nothing in the order that was gathered there. It done there already. And I hear Alexander was saying a couple of days back that people trying to add on to the order. There had to be you, Aubrey, trying to add on to the order. To the, to the order. And Alexander skin you up. Right? Because the amount of bullshit you come and try to say that the order said this and the order said that. The order never said nothing about an investigation neither. And the order never said that GCOM will do something with the observation report at the end of this. They will make an assessment and a decision of, at what is to happen with the observation report when they become finished. What is to happen with the observation report now that they can do something with the observation report, Aubrey. Right, so don't come and try to tell people that GCOM have to, are obligated to do something with the obligation report, they don't. Right, it's to do assessment and make a decision on what is to happen with it. It's meaning that you ought to take it and go to court. You ought to take it and go in the toilet and wipe your ass with it, or you ought to take it and fuck off with it. Right? This is what will happen at the end of the week. This is what was gathered in. Not for no investigation or nothing. And not for GCOM to make no decision on the observation report. Well, it was to do an assessment, an assessment. And then decide what is to happen after that. Right? Not to make a decision on it. In terms of using it for do something other then what do we come state? In terms of investigation, in terms of starting up the declaration at the end, in terms of saying, oh, we ain't got our re-election. I know this way you're heading to. And they ain't gonna happen. I said it already. It ain't gonna happen. Right? So there's not your composition to make them decision on the observation report. Okay? Again, that is for an election petition. Good, not for GCOM to do. Moving on. Mm, yes. And from the inception established, this was not a mere recount of numbers. This is more of an audit. Aubrey, are you? The auditor. Are you the auditing team? Because I remember Jack D was acting GCOM to bring in the auditing team to take part in the recount, and they did not do that. So, how this move from a recount to an audit? How? This has nothing to do with auditing, sir. This has something to do with counting the ballots and declaring a winner at the end. Okay, if you didn't know, then you know now. Right? And he explained three key sections of the art. These three key sections he explained supposed to be telling people that this number thing is not what the art say it should be. You understand? First thing the, the artist said, it provide, the artist provide for the results to be transmitted to the CEO. Yes, we know that. Then the CEO have to produce a report. Yes, we know that too. Together with a, a report of the observation report for every region. Yes, if they're gonna be making an assessment on the observation report, they will have to do a report on it, I agree. Right? Thank you for the update anyway. I'll be like we didn't know. Okay? Then they will have to then the reports will have to go to the commission for them to further discuss 
and determine if the elections were credible. Now, a question. If it proved not to be credible, we expect to happen at a recount? Again, this thing can go to a recount. If you are trying to say it was not credible, it's for an election petition. Right? And I hear you have been saying this thing for a long time. Why the PPP don't want to know if something went wrong in the election? I want to know if something went wrong in the election. But for me to know that something went wrong in the election, they have to go through the right procedure. You understand? Because all these names we are produced have to be back checked. Right? We can't just collect a, a letter from somebody saying this and accept it without back checking it to make sure that what they're saying is right. You understand? And for them, things that have happened is a long time. So they have to go to court and an investigation will be launched by the court into these matters. Right? And even if after the court story and it really did have fraud in the election, which I doubt. Then you have to go back and fix the constitution. And make it in a way that these things cannot happen in the future elections. Right? You objecting to them and getting GCOM to produce evidence for them and even going to a recount ain't going to change the fact that something will be fraudulent in the election. They have to change from the constitution and not from the voters list. Right? And the next thing, when I was saying about this house to house registration, and now, and now here Alexander claiming that he was saying from the starting that the list is bloated. No, yeah, the way I was saying about the house to house registration, and this is what Granger was saying, I sure, is that yeah, I want to add on the young people them who would have become 18 years old now and would have been able to vote in this election. And you don't want to disenfranchise those young people from voting. And this is why I was calling for the house to house registration, not because of no bloated list. Y'all never said the list was bloated before. Right? Now you are coming with bloated lists because you are lose the election. Now if you are was if y'all didn't know that this list here was bloated for all this time y'all was in power, why y'all didn't do a house to house registration since y'all take office? Or a year after y'all take office or two years after y'all take office. Why y'all didn't do a, a house to house registration then? Y'all wait till y'all lose the vote on confidence. And because y'all want to buy more time, y'all decide, oh, we can do a house to house registration. Right? Y'all ain't doing the because of no bloated list. Y'all was doing the for your own purpose. Right? Because y'all want to hold on to power at any cost. Right, that's why I was saying that yeah, I want to do like this house to house recount. Um, this house to house registration. Excuse me. Thing. Because y'all don't want this to enfranchise the young people there. Good, so y'all don't bring them bullshit to nobody, but y'all said the list was bloated from before and, and this and that. No, them thing ain't gonna work. Okay? And. After the commission discuss and de determine if the election was credible, if it is proven it was not credible, then GCOM will have to make a decision. Again, I said this earlier. GCOM will make a decision. Take it to court, take it to the toilet, or fuck off with it. This is what I said earlier, and that's what I said again. This is the decision GCOM will have to make. They can't do nothing else with it. Really. We are trying to bully GCOM into doing GCOM cannot do it. Right? We are trying to force GCOM to be in, get involved in is against GCOM powers. You understand? GCOM don't have the power to do that. I don't know how much I, how, I don't care how much I yeah, come out and say that GCOM have the power and GCOM this and GCOM that. And I hear you yeah, yeah, commenting before to saying that Oh, but they were saying GCOM have, yeah, I should have clipped it, and another lad saying that GCOM have this amount of power. Yes, GCOM do have a lot of power. 
chi kang hapalata po in the jurisdiction. Not out of it. You understand? What the law provide for GCOM to do? GCOM have all the power to deal with those sections of the law. Not the section that they are not that was not provided for them to use. Right? So they can't go, go outside at their boundaries, I should say, to do nothing else. That the constitution ain't catered for them to do. Good? So what Anil Anil was saying that yes, GCOM have all this power to do these things and this thing and that thing and that thing. The things what he was talking about is what I have the power to deal with. The things what you're talking about is what you are trying to force them to say they have the power to do. And it's a, it's a big difference. Okay? Because you cannot force GCOM to do something that they don't have the power to do. Good? They cannot happen. Right? So you all get your mats work out. Okay? <clears throat> then he went on to say, so he tell the people him, so don't be fooled that it will be some kind of a declaration of a winner as a result of these numbers. I be come on. Who being fooled about that? It has to be a declaration of the winner at the end. Nobody is being fooled about that. You is the only person who I think is fooled about something or trying to fool people about something. Everybody know the end of the recount. Even to you know that. That at the end of the recount, it have to be a declaration. Right? So don't try to come and feel you can tell people that don't be fooled until you can mislead them. That ain't gonna work. Okay? Then he said that they are convinced that based on the amount of fraudulent activities they have seen, they have convinced based on the fraudulent activities they have seen that the election was fraudulent. Okay, yes, I know. Only y'all. Only y'all. Then even another say something about well. Anil Nandala was saying since Mingo time about fraud. So Anil said once there is, this is exactly, a fraud, a fraud have been committed, it voids the whole process. This is Anil Nandala said that. And he showed a clip, so I can't say he was lying. Right? But Anil Nandala, here he did say that. That if Mingo creates one single fraud, it voids the entire process. So the whole entire process is invalid again. Right? And from Anil Landalal's statement, they have shown more than one fraud. They have showed the they have showed the people that there was more than one fraud. Now he went on to Fraud number one is the people them who dead. Number two is who migrate. Number three is the unstamped ballots. Them is the fraud. First thing. Unstamped ballots. Aubrey. One to the eight thousand we was claiming before. I ain't mentioned nothing about that today. The eight thousand varnish. Because you don't what come out and say. That there was just fifteen hundred rejected ballots. And out of the fifteen hundred was she saying, I hear the PPP was saying more than that, close to three thousand. So I would say about 3,000. Out of the 3,000 rejected ballots, there was not 30% of them that was not stamped. And the reason the 30% was not stamped is because people put the X in more than one box, supporting more than one party, put the X in between two parties you don't know who they're voting for, sign the name on the ballot, and that is why they would be rejected. One to the 8,000, what he was talking about. The 8,000 varnish, just like your victory on March 2nd varnish too. Can you hear you saying that you are winning election again? Now you are going to the fraudulent irregularities and the election was incredible. Can you hear you saying that you are winning again? Now this is to your supporters. How you can support these things? 
right? Force the Senate to win the election. Guy, I could test them from the road, so people try to thieve them, trying to rob them the election. And these artists, observers, and everybody trying to rob them the election. Right? This way it started. So they would have convinced you all to win. And all the other protests, skin up your ass on the road, insult people, do all kind of thing. Right? And the whole thing then will change from that to an uh, election that was not credible. How? Tell me, AP and you AFC supporters, how it would have changed from you winning the election to the election was not fair now? And you are still supporting these people. Only because you want to corrupt corruption. And you want people to think to it for you. Right? So you are going to support this kind of bullshit. These things here make no sense. You are think for yourself and you are going to see. Put yourself in a neutral state of mind and think positive and don't think party. And see if PPP was doing it, if you were to accept it. If you were to think the same thing we are thinking now. If the other party was doing the same thing what they're doing now, saying that people vote and all this thing, just put yourself in a neutral state of mind and think for a minute. If it was the other party doing this, if I would accept it, like how I accept it now because the party who was supporting it doing it, do that and see the answer we can come up with. You will be surprised. Right? So <clears throat> then he went on to the Sophia. A box in Sapphire that said that 83, ba 83 ballots was not stopped. And out of the 83, 69 of them was clearly shown that people did vote for the AP and UFC. Now you had 13 other ballots other than the 69. Uh, 14, sorry, it was 83. You had 14 other ballots. Who them went for? You can't say somebody trying to rob you and they rob you everything. They only rob you some. Because if the PPP was trying to thief, you all vote or rob you, you all vote. That means the PPP shouldn't have had no unstamped ballots there. It will be all for you all. Now, the next thing is, is that only in your region we find the unstamped ballots. You all are saying in the PPP, we try and hold them. How much un unstamped ballots coming out of them? Only in your region have unstamped ballots, and the PPP is who doing it. And only in the PPP zone, got people who migrated and them. And the certificate of employment missing, poll book missing, and all the rest of irregular irregularities where you are claiming, the only, them only happening in the PPP strongholds. And in your strongholds, none of that happening. The only thing happening in your strongholds is that PPP thief in your ballots again because they didn't get them stopped. So PPP was doing what Mingo was doing. Right? They, they, this is the thing. PPP did what Mingo was doing. Add on for them and take off for y'all. Because this is what Mingo was doing. Mingo was adding on for y'all and take off for them. So you had turned around the whole thing now and said PPP, who was putting their people to vote, to care of the vote count and take off for y'all because their ballots wasn't getting stopped. No, 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 no. Them ain't gonna work. Them ain't going nowhere, Aubrey. We seen past that. And if somebody could tell me that Clara Singh, who was a farmer judge, who would have known the law inside out, and to be a very well educated person, at the age where she have, she have very much experience about life, to don't see and understand what we are trying to do. She's a special kind of person. You understand? She have to be a special kind of person. Because I know the law, and I, I was never judge on all these kind of things. And you cannot bring this bullshit to me and tell me I can fool me with them. So I don't know how you think you can fool Clara Singh with You understand? Now I hear Harmon saying that he wants Clara Singh to give you an answer as to what she can do with the observation report and the evidence what they call it. Haman, you remember the order that Gaza did say they're going to be doing an assessment on the observation report after the recount. Not 
during the recon sir so what evidence you got and what evidence you're producing and what evidence you can collecting for you an assessment have to make on that or on those information you're providing at the end of the recount, not during the recount. You understand? You are done forcing down all these kind of ignorance for having nothing coming out here and say they are to provide for this and they are to provide for that, which and it don't. Don't decom neck. Don't decom truth. Now you come in and try to push something as don't decom truth for she to give you an explanation as to what she can be doing with this. These things here is to elaborate on on the end of the recount. Okay? And not before that. So you have to fucking wait. I don't feel it with send a talking letter and she can't reply. She, she don't have a reason to reply to none. Because the order gazetted saying that everything has to happen after the recount and not doing it. Right? So she don't have to reply to you. Tell Alexander to ask a question. So he can come back and tell you about it. Or call Alexander and ask to read out the order for you. Okay, and so he can read properly if you understand what you're reading. Right? And he can explain to you what is the process. <clears throat> then from from where we finished just now yeah then you went on to say at this stage people should not go along the road and worrying about the numbers they are seeing what the people them should be worrying about? The lies where you're talking? Come on, Abby. They have to worry about the numbers. The supporters them have to worry about these numbers. It's showing that y'all lose the election. When y'all tell them y'all winning. So they have to be worrying. I don't know how you can go and tell them not to be worrying now. They may make no sense, Abby. Come on. Right? And this is both a quantitative, quantitative and a qualitative assessment and they believe based on the amount of fraudulent activities that they will have seen it will be very difficult for this process to be considered credible based on the amount of fraudulent activities they have seen. Yeah, I see them. Where I see them. Where I was. Where I was going. When you yeah, see them. Eh? There's the proof that the election was not credible. Abby, what kind of bullshit you come telling people, boss? Only because you say it was not credible. And again, GCOM did not correspond the names that you received. From the uh, from the police with with, with, with who named them on the list and who the people and vote or didn't vote. She come and do that as yet. So you can't claim that the amount of irregularities you see and you don't have the fact. As yet, which you before said, fact is evidence. You don't have the evidence, so you don't have no facts. As to whether these people vote or not. And how you could claim victory, it's the same thing that happened before. You claim victory and you don't even know if you win yet. Because you don't know if none of these people vote. You understand? You just submit a name and get back and reply with some names. Yes, with the, based on the names that you submit. But how we know the vote when she coming back check it as yet? Are you come claiming that these things happen with no proof eh? and no fact? Stop coming out and try to mislead the people. Wait until you get a reply or a confirmation on what you are coming out and say before you come out and say it. And those who come out and open your sting, more than their words fall out and be the people that just pick them up and keep them. No, them, them is garbage. You understand? These things are making no sense, are Good. Um, I will have to stop here. Uh, my 20 minutes is up. Sorry. 
right but there's a lot more you say so please watch the next video watch the next video i can try to complete okay there's a lot of things he said right i can try to complete it in the next video i thought i thought i could have my app it's about holy crap 12 or 13 ph and only the half of the second one no i like the farther than that okay i finish one two three four four and i got one two three four five six seven eight so i don't think i can finish it in the next video neither but i can try i can try to see how i can finish it in the next video right i'm sorry about that but time is time okay so now is about minute to 12 11 to 6 so good night everybody stay safe please stay away from rona please like share and subscribe have a wonderful see you in the next video god bless diana